it. All right, we are getting underway here at Madison Square Garden in New York City. Matt Hughes is an elite level grappler, impossibly strong for this weight class. And listen to this fact. In his career, he has wins over six UFC title holders. These oh, nice one. He hurt him. He's inside control here. Full mouth. Very nicely done. He's in half guard here. Side. Back up. Look how light he is on his feet, too. Oh, hammer fist here by two. There's more hammer fists. Now he's got over under, Joe. Hughes gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. Another shot. Coming out of that cheek area now, Joe. He's gonna try to take the back, I think. He's now working from side control again. Now he's in full mount. Yeah, that did hurt. You saw the wince. Hip escape, gets out of the full mount. Very nice ground and pound. He's staying busy. Gets the elbow there. Full mount again. And busy as he looks to improve position here. That's it. He's gonna it back up. Effective. He got a tag. He got a tag. This could be it right here. In half guard now. Big body shot. combinations here. I'm trying to spin to the back. He's got his back. Looks like he's trying to set up some sort of choke here, Joe. Whenever you caught in a rear naked choke, tuck the chin, turn the head towards the choke. Now he's pretty deep. Oh, that's nasty. This choke is getting tighter and tighter. He may have to tap. That's it, that's it, we'll do it! Got caught in the choke, and didn't have the time to tap. Yeah, great job executing the submission in that fight, Joe. Really excellent work, not just with the setup, but with the transitions and top-level technique to ultimately get the finish and put his opponent unconscious. And here's a great look at that rear naked choke again. As soon as he gets the arm underneath the chin, he is able to secure the hand on the bicep, put the other hand on the back of the head, perfectly cutting off that blood supply. We go inside the octagon to prove...